We have to talk. Yeah, that's a phrase that nobody wants to hear because every time it's uttered, something bad happens. Brian Von Vie here, back at it again with another set of D&D stories, and today we're exploring the concept of DMs. What is something you say to your players that always makes them nervous? Now, I want to be clear, the first comment that we've had here, or story, literally had half of the Discord server in a state of pure concern. So, I'm including some of the responses of that for context. It's the chicken's turn. Oh, oh, oh I, I need context for this one. The chicken they adopted has become a murder hobo. Oh, Lord, that's amazing. It's kind of their fault. They gave it a dagger. This chicken is my spirit animal now. For me, personally, it's always, you don't see any traps. So, you're going to open the door? Roll a deck save for me. I just start giggling. What's your health total again? Make a perception check. Oh yeah, the place looks pretty safe. You can long rest here. Do you have dark vision? Hey. You haven't been eating the minis, have you? <laughs> uh, plastic is generally not considered very nutritious. Hey, let me see your character sheet. Uh, <clears throat> does a 22 hit? No. Come on, we're level 2! And they still won. I had an old group I used to DM for, and they never got nervous whenever I tried the old tropes of you can try or are you sure? So, I was leading them through a dreamscape portion of the campaign. Ooh, I love that. I can't for the life of me remember what happened, but I remember saying, Hmm, I hope your characters can forgive you. The silence at the table and the timid, <laughs> um, <laughs> what does that mean? Was followed by my own evil chuckles as I readied a battle mat. They were whiter than their character sheets as I asked them to roll initiative. Where do you pick it up? And for reference, I have players who actually roleplay out investigation gain a stark advantage on rolls. However, there are some quirks to that that can cause some trouble. <laughs> for example, if I'm running a more modern setting and someone looks under a lawnmower, I'll have them specifically clarify where they pick it up. By the wheels? Roll me a dex check, please, otherwise it will roll out of your hands and slam down hard. Oh, every man's nightmare. By the handle. Do you grab the entire handle at once? Uh, oh, it seems you've caused it to start rolling forward on you, and you've cut a patch into the grass to show it. Your future stealth checks on site may be disadvantaged because they'll know someone messed with their mower. What do you mean by, by the side skirt? Please, please try to remember both in and out of character what I said about this object. Something even as mundane as a flipped over wheelbarrow with heavy spider web coverage could be a danger to investigate if done incorrectly. If they pick up the wheelbarrow instead of looking through the gap, a bunch of spiders will start fleeing in terror and a lot of them will move towards the player. I had one player who was a secret lycanthrope pick up a silver sword and I had to DM that exact phrase to them to make sure they didn't slice their hand wide open with the only inanimate thing that could damage them. So, you rolled a 17 on your saving throw? Pause. Hmm. I don't have enough dice for this. Back when I did DM, I was looking at the list of abominations and was really interested in using some of them. When my party got overpowered really quickly, I would always say after a campaign, All right, let me grab the list of abominations again. Remember that god fetus I was talking about? <laughs> Have fun. Ooh, a god fetus? I, I didn't know we were getting into Dark Souls territory today. Literally for me, it's just, are you sure? Followed by my normal laugh. Whenever they roll high on an attack roll, I say, <clears throat> sorry, that doesn't hit. Now, I haven't personally DM'd, but one of my DMs always says, Everyone, roll a d8 every time we enter a new plane. The drow casts darkness. <laughs> their names. Only their names. Yeah, using someone's full name too 
is, uh, you don't do that. That's nightmare fuel. It's like, Brian Michael. It's like, don't even utter another word. I swear to God. The IRS has found you. <laughs> uh, uh, crippling depression. <clears throat> Are you sure you want to do that? You can certainly try. <laughs> really? I'm not planning anything. <laughs> uh, hey, what's your AC? Or roll a <clears throat> insert check here when entering a new area followed with a oh, and a sigh. It's much less something I say, rather something I do. I find it funny to just randomly roll my dice around in front of me, making sure to pick up lots of them at one time before rolling. Whenever they ask me what the roll was, I will merely say, that's for me to know and you not to find out. But in actuality, I'm just screwing around with my dice because, you know, dice are fun. All right, <clears throat> I have a few. As far as you can tell, what's your passive perception again? How much health did you have? And, huh, of course, oh, I didn't see that before mid-fight. One of my DMs would always joke about how they couldn't wait to kill their players. Honestly, it kind of stopped being funny after two PCs died in the same dungeon to the same spell, highly upcast inflict wounds, rolling a nat 20. I'm a player, but a DM in the Adventurers League Discord had this laugh where you instantly knew you were screwed, and you'd end up nervously laughing while feeling like you're crying. That laugh honestly scares me into laughing. <laughs> Something a little bit like that. Are you sure you want to fight this thing? <laughs> we got a rooster in the yard. If my players want something impossible or really unlikely, I just say, If the rooster crows, then I set a 30 second timer. Nothing. I just start rolling dice without any context. Roll me a new character. There's no way my math is correct. Yeah, <clears throat> nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Anytime I use the phrase, it seems like, they are automatically on their guard. And it's weird, because that was the case from day one. I early set up a simple room trap for them, and they took an hour to set off the first mechanism, because they didn't trust the original perception check. My druid went and wild shaped into a spider to investigate the whole 4x4 square room. It was ridiculous. When my DM says, your vision fades and the scenery changes. Always makes me scared for my character, as this is how the DM denotes him receiving a vision. This usually happens in the middle or bottom of the ocean, which he is deathly afraid. These visions are shockingly common. I never say something concrete when they do perception rolls. I always use words like, the room appears to be empty, or it seems the room is empty. One of my favorites, too, is when they find and disarm traps. You've disarmed all the traps you found, regardless if it's all of them or not. Ooh, they always get anxious with these answers, and I do, too. You subtle, sly bastard. I don't think I've ever deliberately done it, but I probably spooked them when I said, ah, that's a low roll for something doing 30 plus damage. Oh, uh, uh, we don't need you to tell us everything. All right, then do a recap of what happened next week. Oh, that's like a pop quiz. No, thank you. So you're opening the box. So now it's my turn. <laughs> uh, this was for a Warhammer fantasy game, mind you. Our DM. Does a 37 hit your AC? And, uh, we were level 8, so the answer's obviously gonna be a yeah. Is that your final answer for the riddle? Oh, <laughs> wow. Uh, so where are you guys in relation to each other exactly? Okay, that is a really bad idea. Please do not cast that spell. So your character has a child. Interesting, interesting. Not for very long. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to investigate the first room? Uh, all right. Glyph of warding storing a fireball goes off. Ooh, ouchie. 
Are you absolutely certain you wish to commit to that action? Because uh, <laughs> it could be your last. You never know. The sound of dice rolling behind the screen and the color change in the DM's face. No words are needed for that, but it's true terror. So, how exactly are you opening this door? Oh, uh, that's uh, not what I thought this was. Okay, then. In a homebrew game, the DM had given me a modified deck of many things. That's never a good idea. I drew cards. Once he said, everyone, roll for luck. Ooh, everyone was eerily spooked. Yeah, me too. You see an unkempt room before you. The only thing in good condition is that sword in the corner. Every time I try to cheese a puzzle or an important fight, my DM asks, what's your passive perception? And I get Vietnam flashbacks of that first encounter with Mr. No Pity Kitty. They <clears throat> seem to be. You really want to burn that base down? Sir, your gold has gone down in value. Ugh. That is a very good question. Do you ask that out loud? Uh, let me roll this thing real quick. I want you all to know, if I ever play Evanescence during a battle, it's because I want to kill you. Me, the DM, discussing the background music. Well, now I have to do a rewrite. When what you've done reaches into the real world, it can only mean bad things. A good, you failed to notice <clears throat> something, always gets my players paranoid and sweating. Other players jump to now make perception or insight checks on situations or people that are completely normal. At the end of the corridor is a door. My DM will say, roll a flat d20 for me, no particular reason. He'll just say something like, hmm, interesting. And the session will continue. Always leaves me wondering what's going on behind the scenes. It's not what I say, it's something as what I do. I slowly look up at them with a grin on my face while stroking my goatee. They all get creeped out and worried I'm plotting something nasty. Now you may be wondering what just happened, but I'm not going to explain it. I say this whenever I have my players make seemingly pointless roles. They've learned to fear whatever role they just made whenever I do. Even if it's for something innocent, like, you know, making pancakes. How could that go wrong? It's like burning down a tavern. I've also been told by some that when I do the <clears throat> evil DM smirk trademarked, they start hearing boss themes in their heads. <laughs> I consider that an achievement. Sees completely benign random encounter with zero danger that is simply fun or weird just got rolled by a PC. <laughs> I forgot how great this one was. Oh no, it has to be bad. It can't be good. That can't be good. I don't need to say anything. Our group plays online, so sometimes I'll just roll dice next to the mic for no reason. Oh, they hate it. Hey everybody, Brian Von Vie here. Just making sure to check in after the vid as per usual. Make sure to leave a like, to subscribe, and to ring that bell to get notified when we post a new video. If you want to share a story with us, you can do so on r slash Mr. Ripper or down in the comments below where we do take and draw plenty of stories, mostly the ones that are relevant to that video. However, we take a lot of stories from basically everywhere and lump them all in one big pile of love. So please don't hesitate. Also, if you'd like to come say hi to me, you can come do so on Brian Von VA. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, name it. Just go look me up. I'm there and I'm always happy to make a new friend. That said, I try to end things on a positive note, and today is no different. Ah, uh, believe in yourselves. Yeah, that's that's a simple one for today. Believe in yourself. I, it's hard. It's got. It's harder than you think it is. And I I never want to downplay how hard it is to to find confidence in your in your own actions and decisions. But it's like rolling a perception check, getting a high roll, and then second guessing yourself because the DM has that evil grin trademarked on. Hey, don't worry about it. What happens is going to happen no matter what you do, no matter how good or bad you are at something, it's going to happen. The only thing that you can do is control your reaction to whatever happens, okay?
So whatever effect occurs in the world because of what you do or don't do, just be prepared for whatever can come next, the good, the bad, or the ugly. You have the power to do it. You just need to believe. Take a breath, take that step, and go for it. All the love, be safe, be happy, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.